Yeah, like Jesse said, record warmth today. Uh, and it looks like this stretch of over 70 will be the longest since 1910 before it's all said and done. Uh, and, and, you know, even back then, it was highly unusual. You normally get a, a period of warmth like that in March, maybe once every century. So we're going to soak it up. On precision now, there's a little short wave that's ejected out of the plains right here. It's popping a few little storms down here in Illinois and also parts of Kentucky. Uh, that'll pop a couple storms for us this evening, late, late this evening, and into tonight as it passes. Then we'll have another one tomorrow. Notice a few little showers to our west, little thunder showers moving off to the northeast. So we'll keep kind of 20 to 30 percent coverage of any storm this evening. But the main area of storminess, the deep trough, the upper trough in the west, this will take time to get here, but as it moves into the plains, it will tend to enhance the severe weather threat in the plains and Midwest and give episodes of storms as little disturbances pivot out from it uh, from the Rockies. We'll talk more about that here in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's just enjoy the record warmth. We've got another day of record warmth tomorrow, in fact. Uh, the record high for tomorrow was 78, set in 1995. The record Friday, 1945, 79. Will likely hit 80 both days. Couple scattered storms uh, again late this evening, tonight, also tomorrow and Friday, and then some episodes of storms. St. Patrick's Day right into next week. Some of those will be severe as well. Very mild tonight. Only 61 for the low. 58 Logansport, 61 Pence and Attica. Highs tomorrow. Very warm once again. Upper 70s to right around 80. Even 82 Crawfordsville, 81 at Attica, 80 in Lafayette. 81 Pine Village, and it's the same thing on Friday. Partly cloudy skies, a few little scattered storms, kind of breezy and, and a little bit humid too. 78 Rochester to 81 at Frankfurt. Notice on Futurecast though for the evening here, you'll notice there's 8 and there's 10 o'clock. A few little widely scattered showers or storms will pass through. We may have a couple even into the overnight, even into the day tomorrow. A couple little storms may pop here and there as another what we call a little short wave passes through and there'll be a couple more on uh, more on Friday. But the thing is, it's 30% coverage. A lot of you are going to stay dry due to uh, little disturbances pivoting out of the Rockies. So tomorrow and Friday, a few scattered storms around, but the storms really won't get organized or even start to turn severe until the trough starts to kick out of the West and get into the plains. So we may see several little rounds of storms as this kicks eastward, and that would be starting this weekend and into next week. Maybe even some severe weather. We may have a severe weather threat, at least a slight severe weather threat evolve later tomorrow evening and into Saturday, and then perhaps on Sunday and into Monday. Seven day forecast, you know, it looks like it's going to rain the whole time. It will not be. There'll be little disturbances that pop a few storms almost every single day. Overnight lows around 60, daily highs around 80. We will likely tie the two week stretch of plus 70 temperatures set in 1910. And prior to 1910, I couldn't find any year with two weeks of 70s in March. So uh, we may end up breaking that record. That's a pretty big record. Oh, a year for the books, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, that wow. looks kind of like a summer forecast. It really is. And it's going to.